Thomas Alva Edison was America's preeminent inventor during the late 19th century, with over 1,000 patents, including the stock ticker, electric light, phonograph, microphone, but of special interest to us here, the moving picture industry. Unlike other early inventors such as Edward Muybridge, Edison didn't just develop the technology, but had the vision to create a whole ecosystem to use it. In 1887, he asked his assistant, William Dixon, to begin assembling a device that could record images on a drum like his early phonographs. Work lagged, but in the following winter, Edison and Dixon attended a lecture where Muybridge showed his zoopraxiscope to thrilled audiences. They invited Muybridge to visit Edison's famed New Jersey laboratory, and the two wizards talked about combining Edison's phonograph with Muybridge's zoopraxiscope. This meeting encouraged Edison to continue to explore motion pictures, but apparently not with Muybridge. He filed his first patent filing in 1889 with this provocative statement, I am experimenting upon an instrument which does for the eye what the phonograph does for the ear. Edison's new camera used a series of punched holes, a trick he learned from his ticker tape, to move the paper in front of the lens in accurately measured jumps. Using a hand crank, the camera exposed 50-foot strips of film that could record around 1,000 frames, somewhere between 20 and 60 seconds, depending on how fast the handle was cranked. To play back these recordings, Edison and Dixon built a large cabinet containing the film strips wrapped on a series of rollers. There was a peephole on top with a lens and rotating shutter mechanism that presented the individual frames on the film strips as they whizzed by on the rollers below. The kinetoscope debuted to an impressed audience on May 20, 1891. Looking to provide a space to create movies that the kinetoscope would play, Edison and Dixon built the first motion picture studio in 1893. Dixon would bring in performers who were filmed, including scenes that were off-color for the era, scantily clad women dancing, boxing matches, cockfights, which were outlawed at the time, and even performers from Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. And just to prove the historical precedence of internet cat videos, there was Professor Welton's Boxing Cats. The Edison Company quickly began the task of commercializing its new inventions. In 1894, the first of many kinetoscope parlors was opened in Manhattan, with ten kinetoscopes. Lines of patrons streamed past, depositing their quarters, about five dollars today, and viewing the short films shot at his studio. Just as Steve Jobs would later do with the iPod, iTunes and Apple Music Store, Edison took a broader view of motion pictures. Aside from creating the technology to record movies and play them back, he actively produced movies and created distribution networks, and he kick-started the motion picture industry we know today.